my boys, we, we, we gotta talk about this Boruto episode. Holy shit. This was a fucking amazing episode, bro. There was just so much shit going on at once. I'm gonna tell you, man, I've done reviews for every episode of Boruto so far. And this is the only episode that made me have to take notes. Like, I literally took notes of what's going on. So when I make this video, I can talk about it, all right? Holy shit. Okay, so we're gonna start out from the beginning, okay? Because, you know... I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys right now, it's a lot of shit, like I said. I'm gonna start out from the beginning, okay? So, uh, in the beginning, Sai is with some other shinobi just looking for information. Like, they find a hideout that happens to belong to uh, this ex Foundation member who apparently is dead now. And they didn't find anything. So, they're like, okay, back to square one. But Sai finds a picture of the Ed's root member. And the, next to the root member in the picture is a little girl. Like, they don't show the face or anything, but it's a little girl. And, obviously, it's Sumire. So, the first thing Sai says is, like, I don't know whether we didn't notice sooner. Of course. And, yo, it's crazy shit because it then transitions to Mitsuki and Boruto. Uh, Mitsuki tells him, listen, the culprit is the class rep. All right, they didn't even wait for like an unmask or anything. They just legit said it in two different ways in the very beginning of the episode, just right out. And I know what you guys are going to say. It was super obvious, I know. But there was a part of the community, uh, the Boruto community, who believed that she was just a victim. Maybe she got taken away, blah, 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 blah. But now we know for sure that that's not the case. So then um, we find out that Sumire is actually the gate that summons the new okay she has this tattoo on her back uh, which is the symbol we saw in the very beginning of the show um you know it's like a little tattoo she has on her back that lets her summon the new and um it, it, it's crazy bro like it just goes even crazier from there bro uh this is a specific part of the episode that i really love and i'll get to it in a bit but basically we get a little bit of a uh, flashback of sumita's past we find out that her dad was that Ed's root member and he wanted revenge against the Leaf. And he was like, a re he was really about to what Danso was about and stuff. So even after Danso died, he was researching uh, this, this specific weapon so he could then use it later on as revenge uh, for, I guess, Danso. And it, it's so weird, man. Like, I, I, I mean, most of us expected that, but yo, it, it was crazy. Okay, so the next thing I have on my notes here is. Um, Okay, yeah. You start seeing the, the masked, you know, the masked asylum running. And then two shinobis come in, two jonin come in. And you think a fight is going to start. You think a fight is going to start, my boy. But that doesn't happen. Sai comes out of nowhere, just RKO's this dude. I mean, not literally, but he basically just does this, like, back of the neck slap. And, you know, Sumida falls, the mask falls off, it's Sumida, okay? There you go. That was the reveal, which was kind of anticlimactic. Even though they had already just told us when the episode started, it was anticlimactic the way they, they kind of showed her face. Um, but it was it was, it was was pretty cool because I was not expecting Sai to just come in and slap her and then her, her just falling down. So she looks like, you know, she's about to get restrained by Sai. Sai is like, hey, listen, I'm not going to hurt you. Your innocent friend. I'm gonna restrain you, though. <laughs> I'm gonna restrain you. I got a warrant, okay? And she just summons the new right out the gate. She just summons it. She gave no fucks, okay? So then from then on, Boruto is with Mitsuki. Uh, Boruto decides to go to where the new is. And then when Boruto leaves, the little snake that Mitsuki talks to gave him the order to um, kill the rep, okay? So then you see another part of the episode where new the new is actually like on this foresty area Sai is like yo how are we gonna fight this shit and bro my boy kakashi comes in with the purple lightning with the purple light bro i was fucking hyped when i saw that you guys know that kakashi is like my favorite naruto character so i was super hyped for that and i know the purple lightning is from his specific light novel that came out that you know, hasn't been animated or anything, but apparently in one of his light novels, 
uh, after the Ninja War, he develops this purple lightning as a replacement for Chidori because he no longer has the Sharingan to support the Chidori. Now, let's see what I, what else I have here, man. Um, but yeah, the, then Mitsuki asked Boruto to choose between um, saving, I guess, the village and his family or saving the class rep because Boruto is still like in disbelief. He, he doesn't believe that the class rep is actually the culprit. He wants to see it for himself. And Mitsuki is telling him, listen, man, you can't choose both. But Boruto decides to choose both, okay? And it's pretty cool because Mitsuki then does a shadow clone to restrain Boruto. And the real Mitsuki goes on to find the class rep so he can kill her because he got orders to kill her. And the one thing that I really, really liked about this was that, like, Boruto just didn't give a fuck. He decided to still force his way out of that restraint that Mitsuki had him in with shadow clones. And then he goes to where Mitsuki is. Uh, we do get a shot of uh, Mitsuki, you know, c coming in and leaving to find, like, the rep, like I said. But then the coolest shit happens. One of the coolest shit, which is one of my favorite moments in this episode is Naruto comes in like the yellow flash, my boy. And this man is serious. This man is ready to go Biju mode on this fucking new, bro. And then Kakashi stops him. He's like, listen, if you do that, it was both Kakashi inside that told him this. He's like, if you do that, he's gonna absorb chakra. And apparently the real purpose of the new isn't to like rampage the village or anything like that. Apparently is if it gets enough chakra, they can basically set it off. Like the, the, the user of the jutsu can set up the new to like blow up and take everything. You know, it's like a, like a nuke basically that, that's actually alive, like an organic nuke. So Naruto is like, okay, I'm a chill. I'm a chill. Um, and I like that part because I honestly thought this man was gonna just rape ass and then like Kakashi just told him chill the fuck out bro if you fucking go Biju mode you're gonna nuke us bro I like that shit now Mitsuki finds the rep and they start fighting and the one thing that I thought for sure that was gonna be like an intense fight but yo Mitsuki pins this bitch in like 3 seconds bro and he's ready to just fucking claw her cause he, he does this thing where like claws come out of his hand and he's ready to just stab her with his claws or some shit and Boruto comes in he's like yo Mitsuki chill chill don't 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 do anything and then he basically asks her straight up even though he sees her there he basically asks her straight up hey are you the culprit and basically Sumire confirms yes I'm the culprit Mitsuki is like okay okay I'ma just let them talk for a little bit so basically Sumire just starts challenging everything like oh what are you gonna do Boruto you're gonna kill me can you even do it so Mitsuki steps in and he's like okay Boruto listen man this is why they didn't want you to come here because I don't want you to see this and they start fighting they're well they're about to fight and then you know Boruto gets in the middle of them and like you know stop their kunai attacks and whatever then we find out that Sumida can fucking teleport the goddamn new to wherever she wants, I guess. So the new teleports away from where Kakashi and the others are, and then she and then he teleports to where uh, Sumide, Boruto, and Mitsuki are. And basically, she just says, "Fuck it, I'ma I'm just let this motherfucker take my chakra." He just she just lets the new take her um, into like I guess another dimension. That's what it looked like. It looked like a teleportation jutsu. And Boruto's like, "Oh shit, I need to go after her." And this man just jumps there and gets teleported. And then the episode ends there. Like, the, the weird thing is that when the teleport jutsu kind of just dispersed, the only thing that was left was, like, the class rep's, like, hairpin. Because she usually has this little, like, ribbon or something in her head, and it just fell on the floor. Okay, and then it just, the episode ends. Now, the one thing that I really liked, though, about this entire episode was... Just the amount of shit that we're able to pack in together and bring it together really nicely. Like, you know, the, on the very beginning of the episode, um, on the very beginning of the episode, they're just chilling. They're just chilling. And they're looking at this hideout and then they just find all this shit with like that. Like in the first minute, you start seeing the dots get connected by Sai. And basically, he just confirms everything that we've been trying to kind of get as a theory. My boy Donnie, aka Anime Analyst, did it the best, okay? He was the first one that I saw make a video just saying, hey, it's the class rep. This nigga just had it pinpointed from the get-go. Um, but on the next episode, we are going to be getting 
uh, the new and this dimension they teleported to with Boruto and Sumire. And I think Mitsuki is there as well. And from what I know, I guess Boruto says they're going to tame the new or he's just going to straight up fight it. I really wouldn't know. But we are going to get more background story of Sumire and what happened to her and whatnot. Um, but she seems like really conniving. Like in this episode, her face and the way she was talking, her demeanor was completely different from like the innocent little girl. She was just like, hey, listen, I'm only, I only live for revenge. That's what she said. I only exist for this one purpose. And this bitch has this face like she don't give a fuck. All right. And I honestly thought that she was not be kind of like remorseful when she saw Boruto. Like she was not at like, oh man, you know what? Like, I'm sorry, Boruto, but I got to do. No, this bitch was like, nope, I got, I got to destroy the lift village. This is what I live for. This is why I was born. All right. But anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Yo, let me know specifically what do you guys like the most about this episode? Because for me, it had to be for sure. A hundred percent when Naruto came in and Kakashi came in because man, Naruto, oh, yo, Naruto was ready to fuck shit up, man. And that shit just, it, it literally like just made me hype as fuck. But then of course, you know, Kakashi and Sai had to calm it down. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, this video ended up being longer than normal because, wow, it, it was a great episode. Anyways, guys, I'm out. Let me know in the comments what you think. Peace.